welcome back to my channel and another video here. First one of the new year, which, you know, first one in a while. Sorry about that. I have my office for like, you know, my job. Um, it gives me almost two full weeks off of like paid time for Christmas and New Year. And I'm, today's my last day off. So I was like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta film a video. Um, but I just kind of took an impromptu like two week break because I just wanted to chill. I wanted to vibe. The holidays were happening. If you saw the thumbnail, which I'm sure you did because you clicked on this video, I had a major life event, obviously, which we will talk about in this video. Um, just, I just took some time off and I probably should have said, hey guys, I'm taking some time off, but I didn't. Sorry. But I feel very refreshed. I'm very excited to get back into it. The worst part, the most annoying part, the thing that I hate myself for is I have like two or three videos film. They're just raw footage on my computer. I could have edited those and put them up, but you know what? I didn't spend like any time on my computer at all. I was doing, as Rob would say, all my old lady hobbies where I was sewing and <laughs> knitting and cross stitching. And you know, I just, I had a really good relaxing couple of weeks, which we'll talk about in this video a little bit because this is my, what I wore. And you guys know, I love a long-winded story about why I chose a polish. So I'm a little out of practice. So if this video is even worse than my normal bad quality, I, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> but let's hop right into it. So in November, I had said to you guys, like, really just got away from me. I, I think I only wore like six polishes, which for some people that's a lot, but for me it's not because I change my polish every two to three days. I end up wearing at a minimum, two to three manicures a week. And that's not even including like swatching stuff for photos. So I was pretty disappointed in my November wrap up. But this month I wore 12 and I felt pretty good about it. I went through, I'm looking at my nail polish rack. So I filled this all the way up to the end of every row when I start the month. And I, you know, try to get through what I can. I ended up wearing about half the ones on my rack and I even went off rack for one polish, which we will talk about. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I did a pretty good job this month. So on December 1st, I painted my hands, my hand nails, my fingernails with my new Wildflower Lacquer Frog and Toad, which I had gotten from Polish Pickup. It's a super beautiful jewel toned green. I was like, let's get right into the Christmas spirit with like a Christmassy kind of tree green. And... It was stunning. I had a lot of people ask me in videos, like what's on your nails? Um, or maybe it was like on Instagram or something. I don't know, people were asking, people wanted to know. The people were dying to know. And it was Wildflower, Frog and Toad. And it is, it's not like anything crazy. Uh, it's not something I would normally pick up from Polish Pickup because for Polish Pickup, I try to reserve for like crazier finishes, stuff that's not easily dupable. And you know, a jewel tone green, there's nothing too, wild about it but I love frog and toad and I want to try more wildflower so I ended up picking it up and I do not regret it it is so pretty it's just kind of like a good staple jewel tone color and I'm very happy with it on my toes I it wasn't very Christmassy but I just really wanted to wear it it's like a newer polish to my collection and it's by the brand polish like p-a-h-l-i-s-h and it's called Goblin Mode. And I was just like, that's me. I am the polish. I I love the phrase Goblin Mode. I think it's really funny. I, I just, it, and it was just a gross green shimmer. It's like a very fun, grungy green. And it did not match the wildflower on my nails at all. I don't coordinate my manicure and my pedicure typically ever. It's just not a thing that I do. Um, my feet and my hands are just so far away from each other that who's looking at both at the same time? Nobody better be. So, which by the way, I went to a Christmas party at my friend's house and one of my friends, she kept pretending like she was taking pictures of my feet. She's like, I'm going to post these on Instagram so that all your people see them. I was like, you better not. On December 5th, I ended up wanting to wear, so my friend Stacy Quality Nails for my birthday, she had gotten me two ILMPs and I had already worn one of them, but I wanted to wear the other and it was more like a topper. I think you could build it up enough to where you could wear it on its own, 
but I really wanted to put black under it to really get the full effect. So I put on Orly's liquid vinyl because I, I don't know, I just was like, I always wear one coat black. Let me try something else. And it's fine. I'm not super picky when it comes to black polishes. If I have to do two coats, I have to do two coats. I'm not really worried about them as a base coat. So I did Orly liquid vinyl. I like it. And I layered ILMP's open fields over it. And it is insane how foily that polish is. I've only been talking for like six minutes and I feel like I'm going to die, you guys. I have not talked much these past two weeks. Um, so it's this super really stunning. I say stunning too much. I need a, I need a new adjective for 2024. Somebody dro drop me a really good, fun adjective to say. Um, but it is... Again, that kind of jewelry, but very metallic green. And at extreme angles, it shifts to kind of blue. And again, I got a lot of compliments. People are like, what is that? I feel like anything super jewel toned, super shifty, people just, they always want to know. They're like, what is that? What's going on on your nails? Because it is beautiful. And I was worried that that one was going to be a pain to take off because they're these huge chunky flakes. But when it came time to take it off, it was really easy. And no, I did not use clips. Sometimes clips are not the solution, you guys. Okay, like I don't want to put clips on my nails. I don't know why it makes me uncomfortable to have like, you know, when you go to the doctor and they put like the blood pressure, like monitor thing or whatever. It's like the pulse monitor thing that they clip on your nail. I not on your nail, on your finger. <laughs> They're not measuring the pulse of your nail. I don't like that feeling. I don't like the, the pinchy finger thing. So I don't really love clips. They work really well, but everyone, anytime I like, I'm like, this is hard to remove. They're like, girl, get clips. And I'm like, I have clips. I just don't want to use them. I don't like the sensation, but it ended up coming off really easy. There was like maybe two flakes where I ended up having to like take a nail and just kind of Clip it off there. So then on December 9th, I put on a absolute Christmas season staple. I chose China Glaze Celebratory because, so I had like, th I feel like I had three different Christmases this year. Um, for my family Christmas with my immediate family, you know, my parents, my brother and sister and their significant others, we all got together. My parents live on a lake and there's like a country club there, which you'd think like hearing country club, you're like, wow, that sounds so not me, but it is, it's not like an up, I don't want to like shit on where my parents live, but it's not like, it's not like an uppity country club. It's just like you play golf and you eat food there. Like it's that kind of country club. So my mom suggested that we go to the country club that Sunday and we all played bingo there because they have like a bingo event. And I was like, I love bingo, so I'm down. And we were doing family Christmas on, what was it, the 10th? It was very early because it's like, it was the only time that it was like me, my brother, my sister, my sister's partner, my brother's partner could all get together because everybody's so busy. It's hard to coordinate. And like me and my sister live on one side of the state, my brother lives on the opposite side of the state and then my parents live smack dab in the middle of the state. So we all just kind of converged in the center. And um, what does that have to do with celebrity? I don't know. It was Christmas. Like, and I like wearing like funky polishes to show like my sister and my brother's girlfriend because I think like they also like nails. So I'm like, check out this weirdo hair polish. Um, bingo was great. I didn't win anything. My sister's partner won like two, two times, I think. And it was just really fun. I hope that we do it again. My dad was actually, he didn't play. He was helping run the front table. And so he was like sitting at the very front of the venue. And I'm like with my family at this one big long table. And my mom loves to take pictures, group pictures. And I am not big on being photographed. You think... I film myself a minimum twice a week. You, you think I would like being photographed. I don't. I feel like I look horrible in pictures. So my mom's like taking a picture and I flipped her off while she was taking the picture. And <laughs> just being silly, goofy fun. And all of a sudden this loud, booming voice goes across the whole venue. And it's my dad who saw me do that at the front. He goes, Hillary Elizabeth, you knocked that off. And I was like, he did like the voice of like when I used to get in trouble as a kid and like 
everybody just turns and like stares at me and I was like I wish I was anywhere else <laughs> I was like I hate you so much dad but the picture picture was great I would show you guys but it's got like my whole family in it and I don't feel like they want to be posted also Rob's in the photo and he hates if I hate being photographed that boy hates being photographed times a million so but it was cute it was funny and then we all like exchanged Christmas presents and I got my sister got me this puzzle that it's just like bugs and I'm like so excited to do it I had plans to do it over my break but I just time got away from me so then a few days later I decided to change all of my polishes so on December 13th on my toes I did Caloris de Carol's Magical Mistletoe and that one looks like toothpaste it just straight up looks like toothpaste. I got it in their advent calendar last year. So disappointed I didn't get their advent calendar this year because I mixed up, I didn't like check the date. But trust me when I say like, I guess I'm showing you a picture so you don't really have to trust me because you can just see it, but it looks like toothpaste. And that's funny to me somehow. And then December 13th, I also changed my hands for to Polish for Days Memo to Me, which I'm pretty sure is a like Hades from um Hercules polish James Woods played that Hades character so well like I love we watch Hercules a lot for some reason my boyfriend my boyfriend my fiance Robert <laughs> loves the Michael Bolton rendition of go the distance in the end credits so we watched the whole movie just so he can hear that instead of just googling the rendition he's weird but I had opened the first Cleona Advent polish with like that on my nails, I think, or like for the few days after. And I got so many DMs of people asking me like, oh my God, what is on your nails? And I'm like, I should have just posted this because it is just a beautiful jewel tone blue. I love jewel tones, especially in like fall and winter. There's something just so like unbeatable about wearing them in the cold weather. And just a flaky bomb, which Polish for Days does excellent. I also have this same finish in a green, which I need to wear. But the blue that's like sapphire blue, this will definitely be one of my September blues this year. December 16th, I hope I took a picture of this. I don't remember if I did. Um, my friend bought Lindby Designs Does It Get Eddie Vedder from a previous Polish pickup. And she lent it to me and well, I was like, I need to get this back to her. I also need to wear it. And I was going to her house for a Christmas party. So I was like, perfect, knock it all out. So I put that on and then I was like, well, I need to like jazz it up cause it's a Christmas party. And this is a gray, I guess it's more, I thought it was a gray with a shimmer, but I feel like maybe it's like a purpley gray with shimmer now that I'm thinking back. So I ended up taking some Deco Miami stickers and just sticking them on um i love the deco miami stickers i just forget to use a lot of my nail art stuff so i need to kind of get back to that um but i stuck some of those on to make it like a little more festive and their christmas party was really fun um my friend like the cup both the both people in the couple are my friends actually they're the ones who bought me my light that i used to film um but the husband he made some kind of meat, I don't remember, it was good. And he made latkes, which is like really what I'm there for. Uh, his family's Jewish, so he tries to like keep a lot of the traditions going. And I love latkes with applesauce. So uh, I mostly was just there for the latkes. <laughs> and we played, um, what is it? Like white elephant, which nobody ever listens to the rules i'm gonna complain for a minute nobody listens to the rules and then they all get mad when they don't understand the rules and i'm just like i'm a very rule oriented person so i'm just like everyone shut up and listen to the rules but i ended up getting like the best gift i got like the limit was twenty dollars um the person definitely did not follow the limit because i got a Jo malone perfume and that was just one item in a box of like 20 so i definitely won that game but yeah on December 19th for my um, like last few days at work, I wanted something like fun and festive. And I think, I think we had like my office Christmas party. So I wanted something like fun for that. And so I wore Dom nail polishes, wire wreaths so, I call it wire wreaths so expensive. It's like wire wreaths so, and then it's like $4 signs. I don't 
know how she wanted me to say it, but I say, why are wreaths so, ex so expensive? I don't know if wreaths are expensive. I don't buy wreaths. Um, I believe her. But uh, I ended up wearing that and it's just, it's kind of like another, similar to the toothpaste polish that I was wearing, where it's like a light kind of curly base and it has like a lot of fun stuff in it. And it definitely does look like a wreath. And so it was perfect for my office Christmas party where, I don't know, I feel like this place is a chain, but it might not be. So I might be doxing myself a little when I tell you where we went, but we went to this restaurant called Bahama Breeze. I swear there's there's gotta be more than one, but it's like a Jamaican restaurant, which like the food is good, but <laughs> it's like my company didn't start planning early enough. And so it was like, we're going to the Jamaican beach themed <laughs> restaurant for our Christmas party. It ended up being a lot of fun because there was a big fire, pit thing in the center. Appetizers were good. I don't, I think I got a steak. I don't really remember. It's been a while. And we did like my, my boss, like, so, okay. I'm the only American in my office. Everybody else is from a different country. Everybody in my office, including myself, we all speak like multiple languages and really international office. It's, it's fun to work there. I like that aspect of it. I prefer to work in an office space like that. But it's always fun when they want to do something that is like a more Western tradition or Western game. And they're always like asking me how it works or what to do. So they wanted to do Secret Santa. And so last year I explained Secret Santa and we did it and it went okay. And then my boss decided he was going to do his own rules for it. And it was just like, okay. Um, but I ended up getting like a Bath and Body Works set of like soaps and uh what was it like a box of chocolates which me and rob ate in like two seconds because they were good and 40 dollars in starbucks gift card so i felt like i won that one too i was doing really good at like secret santa white elephant type stuff this year and then on the 23rd i ended up changing my nails and my toes again because my grandparents ended up they were feeling well enough to get together on christmas eve and so I was really glad to get to see them because my grandma, she used to host everything all the time. And she really enjoyed hosting. She loved cooking and baking and all that. And just like I said before, my par or my grandparents are both quite sick. And um, it's just hard to have that many people in your home and and feel like you were always the entertainer and now you can't be the entertainer. And so like, I get it. Like she just doesn't want to do a lot of that stuff anymore. But she wanted to have us over on Christmas Eve. So it was my parents, me, Rob, my sister, and her partner. And then my brother's partner ended up getting really, really sick. So they couldn't come. Um, there's been like a lot of illnesses going around. But I decided for like Christmas Eve and Christmas, I really wanted to wear this Plus Life lacquer that I bought called Candy Cane Cutie, which looks like crushed up candy cane in a pink curly. I was really feeling like the chunky curly glitters and it was just so cute, so pink, so fun. And everybody really liked it. I don't know. I, it boosts my ego when my family's like, oh, I love your nail polish. Um, my grandma really liked it because it was pink. And I think I've told you guys before, she only wears pink nails. One time recently, I went over and her nails were not pink. And I was like, oh, Granny, like that's different for you. And she was like, I hate it. <laughs> but actually when I had purchased that more recently, I think I showed you guys in my November haul, I knew that that was going to be my Christmas polish because it was just so cute. And I don't know, I've been seeing a lot of like the pink and teal and glitter Christmas stuff this year. And I was like, I really like that vibe. So I was like, I got to wear that. And then on my toes, which I still have, which you guys can't see because feet aren't free unless you're my friend stealing feet pics of me. Like, what the hell, Allison? <laughs> um, I put on Hollow Taco Favorite Sister. It's like a, one of the, what, do you, what are they called? The metals. Is it crushed metal? I don't remember. The ones that seem to go off pretty quickly. <laughs> um, this one still looks really good. It was like in a collaboration with her sister, Jen, and it looks like just fun wrapping paper. It's like a red, 
um, frosted metal. That's the word. And I don't usually like the frosted metals. I liked it in the red, which is weird for me because I'm not a big, not a big red wear. Hillary, get your life together. Um, but yeah, so I haven't taken that off. I need to, and I just haven't changed any of my polishes in January yet. And then finally, the one that I'm wearing now, the one that you guys are probably waiting for, um, was on December 29th, Rob and I went away on a little trip that he planned. It was kind of spontaneous, kind of not. I don't know. He said that he wanted to plan a little just one night getaway, which he's been kind of more into lately because he used to be somebody who was like, if I'm going to go on a trip, I want it to be long. But it's just, you know, you only have so much PTO. And sometimes you just got to use just the weekend. And he's finally kind of figured that out, I think. So he's like, let me plan a fun little trip away just the two of us to round out the year. And I was like, all right, you do it. You got this. And he ended up planning a trip to Frankenmuth. The Muth, as I like to call it. Nobody calls it that. Don't call it the Muth. I think that they will hate you if they hear you calling it the Muth. <laughs> um, for those of you who are not from Michigan, you probably have no idea what Frankenmuth is. It's this cheesy little town on the east side of Michigan. I think it's near Flint. Um, and it is like German themed, <laughs> like German, not only is it German themed, but it's like Germany and Christmas time themed. But it's like, if you have never been to Germany and you just had like the vibe in your head of what Germany and Christmas time is about, like that's what it's themed around. It's touristy it's cheesy it's fun it's like very family friendly but there's like a lot of like shopping and things like that and many many years ago when we were both still in college that was the first trip that we ever took as like an overnight trip as a couple because rob had never been to frankenmuth and when i was a kid we used to go pretty frequently because they have um this Christmas store called Bronner's, which is massive. Like it's open, I think 361 days out of the year. It's huge ornaments from like far as the eye can see. One time, like they're, they're highly specific to like one time I found one that just said, I heart ravioli. And I never have been able to get that out of my head because like who loves ravioli that much? I have never actively been like, man, I could go for a ravioli. Like somebody out there loves ravioli that much so we he planned like an overnight trip we stayed at the bavarian inn which is like i think kind of the big focal hotel and just cheesy fun cute i thought it was sweet because it's like you know we we went there once many years ago and i booked the trip and it was you know when we were we didn't have good paying jobs and I booked a motel because growing up in a family of five, we stayed at a lot of motels because it's just cheaper. Rob had never stayed in a motel. And I think he thought I was trying to get us killed because he thought it was, let's just say Rob and I grew up in very different um, classes. And it's like, I grew up middle class. I didn't want for anything. And yet Rob grew up much higher than that. And so I think a motel has never crossed his family's mind. And so I think he thought, I think he rethought the relationship for a minute when we showed up to that motel. This time we stayed in the Bavarian Inn Lodge and it's like a nicer, I mean, for as touristy as it is, it's like a nicer place. And we went shopping and I guess I've gone off on this long tangent, but all that to say, like, I had a, I had a vibe, I had a feeling because it was December 30th and he told me <laughs> many months ago, that we would be engaged by the end of 2023. And I was like, if he doesn't do it today, <laughs> then when is he gonna do it? Because there's only one more day left. Um, so I had a vibe. So I painted my nails with Chanel Hollow, which is like the most expensive nail polish in my collection. Rob bought it for me for a, I think our anniversary. Like, so it's sentimental as well. My friend Bukish Boricua, when I told her, I was like, I have a feeling she was like, do not wear a gross green or a mustard yellow. And I was like, okay, all right. And so I showed her this and she was like, that's fine. You can wear that. Um, so I put this on with 
the hopes and the gut feeling, but I've had the gut feeling like four other times this year and it didn't pan out. So I was just like, mm, we'll see. So he took me out to shopping. We went to Bronner's and got some ornaments and um, we got some shopping done here and there. Went back to the hotel room to kind of hang out, change. He took me to this really great place for dinner. So if you go to Frankenmuth, if you're one of my Michigan friends here, go to the Prost Charcuterie and Wine Bar in Frankenmuth because it was so good. The prices were like, at least in my opinion, for a place like that, incredibly cheap. A lot of their food and stuff was like local, like because there's like a lot of like cheese places in Frankenmuth. They had like really high quality, um, like homemade pickles and stuff like that. It was just, it was delicious. And so we did that. Our dinner reservations were at like 10. So it was pretty late by the time we left. And we ended up, he drove us around a little bit because, you know, they have all the Christmas lights up and it's, you know, really fun and pretty. And we're just driving around and he's like, wow, 10 years is a long time. And I was like, yup, sure is. <laughs> and we're driving and he's just kind of like, not rambling, but he's just like being sweet and talking. And, and then he parks and he's like, so what do you say we do this for another 10 years? And then, I don't know, maybe 10 more years after that. And <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get like worked up in the moment because it's, it's been 10 years. Like I know this is coming at some point. But I like needed him to say it. So I was like, to what? Drive around the parking lot? And he was like, no, obviously not that. And he asked me to marry him. And I said yes. Um, and I cried. And then he remembered that he did not take the ring <laughs> He forgot to take the ring out of his pocket and I said yes and he was like I can't believe you said yes and I didn't even show you the ring and I was like bro it has been 10 years I've been telling you the answer is yes for like the last five so let's go um so yeah I'm engaged now and it's really weird to call Rob my fiance and then he just goes I can't believe you said yes <laughs> like that's all he's been saying for like the past couple days is I can't believe you said yes and I'm like it's been 10 years like the answer was obvious so that's the story all discombobulated because i still feel kind of like weird about it anybody who's about to say <laughs> because everybody i show this ring to they're like wow rob did such a good job picking out the ring i picked out the ring i sent him the link many months ago i said this is what i want this is exactly what i want you do not need to deviate from this ring this is what i want <laughs> so I did a good job picking out the ring. Rob did a good job paying for the ring. That's, that's, just want to make that clear. Um, it is moist night. So just, if you were having a heart attack, put that away. It's okay. Um, it's, I think moist night is prettier than diamonds. I just like that it's sparklier. Um, it has, what do you call it? Like the hidden, here, you guys are good to see how giant my fingers are. Um, it's got that like hidden halo effect. I had to, I, I sized my finger like a thousand times. And I told him, I was like, this is my ring size. Guess what? It's not my ring size. It's like, even with this like ring guard thing to like hold it onto my hand, it's still a little bit too big. So I might have to get it resized. Um, but right now I'm just enjoying wearing it. And the amount of times I've gotten my hair stuck in it is astronomical um i've accidentally already hit rob with it about four separate times which this is gonna it's gonna hurt somebody at some point it's probably gonna hurt me so I'm trying to I'm trying to learn how to wear a stone because i don't wear a lot of uh stone jewelry like i have a lot of like very flat just silver stuff but yeah i am really happy that he finally freaking asked me after 10 years. Um, I love him. And I think that planning this wedding is going to be really fun. He has already been the one to be like, let's meet up. Like, let's go on a date. 
once a month or once every two weeks and and just make it our like wedding planning discussion date like he took the initiative which I feel like a lot of guys don't unfortunately they kind of propose and go I did the hard work now it's now it's on you to plan the wedding but Rob has never really been like that so I'm glad that he wants to have a say and you know do his part in this so I mean it's only been what it today is the third he proposed on the 30th it's been four days has it really only been four days I feel like it's been forever um but yeah it's only been like four days I'm not thinking too hard about it um but I'm also thinking too hard about it so I'm excited to jump into that but I'm also really scared because planning a wedding seems like a daunting task and I have a really big Catholic family <laughs> and he has a really big Korean family and by that I mean like I don't know who's actually related to him and who isn't because he just calls everybody aunt and uncle and I'm like are they biologically or are they what's going on here and he goes you don't need to worry about it <laughs> so I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty big we live in the metro Detroit area which is the most expensive place in Michigan to have a wedding We'll see. We'll see how this all goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I rambled a lot. I'm sorry. Like I said, I haven't filmed in like two-ish weeks. Um, I have a lot of plans for the new year. I, I feel really refreshed. I'm really excited to start 2024. I don't know. What am I excited for? I actually don't know. I'm excited to set some new goals. I'm excited to talk to you guys about that. And um I have a lot of good video ideas that don't specifically revolve around buying new polish, but more using stuff in my own collection. So I hope that you guys are interested in that kind of content. That's kind of how I started my channel. And I feel like somewhere I got away from that and it was more about buying and reviewing. And I want to go back to just having fun with what I have. I'm not going to not buy polish, obviously. Who is she, right? Like, but I do want to go back to the roots of my channel, the roots of Mediocre Mannies, and and just have fun with what I have. So I hope you guys are here for the ride with that. Um, if you have any, like, jumping off suggestions on how to plan a wedding, because I don't know where to start. It's kind of a lot. Um, let me know down in the comments, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.